Hello, everybody. And the search for rope continues. Is there rope up here? Um, rope, rope. Is there rope? Ah, rope, rope. Shoe bucket. There must be rope in the shoe bucket. Look at that. Rope in the shoe bucket. Take the rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. Awesome. Rope in the shoe bucket. What What even is a sh shoe bucket? That is not a shoe bucket. That is a shoe, like... This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. I and creepily pop up. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? That's After interesting. After kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. You would go away now. Creepy. God. I need to fix that swing. And can I... Ah! Board and rope on swing. I wasn't board and rope on swing as a oh, child, but... This shouldn't be too tough. Three hours later. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. <laughs> Did, Did someone say, say swing? Darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? No. Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. But then it, it broke like last a week. Time ago now. Yeah, it does. Hey. Now we're gonna go up. God, those birds need to shut up. Like, don't get me wrong, I love ambient noise. But they're just constantly looping the bird noise. I don't know if you can hear. Hopefully you can. But just constant looping of bird noises. It annoys me. Turns me into Cthulhu. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. I... Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank no. you. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can. Foreshadowing. But we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. Fantastic job. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. I don't believe you. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys had been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. One was a serial was killer. Hardest on Andy. He Dave was an was arsonist. Of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. She wants me. She totally wants me. Hey. Pointy. I wish I could remember how that... Um. Let's talk to him once more just because I want to make sure that there's... Hey. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. <sighs> Pointy. 
Pointy, 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 pointy. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. No problem. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. You're creepy. The thing to entertainment these days, I guess. What, these generators the moving pictures. are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I won't. I gotta go talk to Mark. We learned important things. Hey, I'll keep looking around. Oh, okay. All right, keep me posted. I did. I learned important things. Let's look at this house. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's a that is a what's it called? Propane tank. Yeah. That's for heating and cooking. We have one at my old house. Hi. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Constant vigilance. What is that from? Constant vigilance. It's from a book or a movie. It's got to be a movie. So or a place book looking? on tape. Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. That's true. There's one. Look at that arrow. And that bandit yeah. had a crossbow bolt. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Yeah. Push the zombie. Uh. Nah. On. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. 
We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So really? what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Thank you. You're a nice know. person, Mark. I see it. Now we have to actually push it first. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Is that possible? Like, I don't know <laughs> science like that, but something tells me it's not. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Ironic. Really. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but... It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Oh no. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come oh, on. Mark. You're Can so... I help here, Lee? Yeah, I'm coming. Jeez, Marie. Ein Minuten, bitte. Oh, right. <sighs> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh no, Marky Mark! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! You Oops. Fuck it up. Now we'll take what we want! I, I, I know what's going on. I apologize. We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house! Ah! They're on the Shit, move! Shit, yeah. I am sneaky. I am like Ezio Auditori. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Hey now. Violence is not the answer. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Ah! Go away! Go away! Yep, and we'll queue, and there we go. 
constantly queuing, okay. I feel like I'm playing League yeah. of Legends. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. There we go. Let's get out of here. And just leave the gate open. Just leave the gate open. So yeah, we fixed your gate fence, but we left your gate open for the hell of it. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, no. are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. Do you know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. <laughs> when you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, <laughs> come find us. Creepy ass motherfucker. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Despite the fact We're that I free flipped out on them. With these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. That's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Gay. She likes me. Hey, right. with that, that's going to be in the episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, I will be doing Walking Dead Season 2 when that comes out. So until then, well, until the next episode, which is tomorrow, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great night. Adios.